In the first place, it's a very obvious answer, I think, and uh, that we find it in Matthew chapter 28. It's and the reason we use the words that we do uh, when, we, when someone is baptised uh, is because Jesus gave a commandment using really the same words. So this is Matthew chapter 28 and, uh, and verse 19. So Jesus, well, verse 18, for occasion, Jesus came, spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth, speaking to his disciples, and his, who were to be apostles. Go ye therefore and teach, or make disciples of, actually that word means, uh, all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And those are essentially the words we use. And that's why we use those words, because that's what Jesus used when he told his, uh, his disciples to do this. Now, some people have said, oh, this sounds very Trinitarian. You know, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Um, and they start to throw doubt on that passage. In fact, there's no reason whatsoever to doubt the, the uh, authenticity of that passage of scripture and in fact those three elements the father the son and the holy spirit come together in many other places in scripture well I'll just for an example uh, in acts chapter 10 you get you get those three elements uh, again this is acts 10 verse 38 uh, where we read how god that's the father anointed jesus that's the son uh, with the Holy Spirit. That's the Holy Spirit. <laughs> so there you get those three together again. And of course they came together as well, didn't they? In the words of the uh, angel Gabriel, when he spoke to Mary and um, uh, and spoke about how she should become a, a mother of... Uh, uh, the, the God has said this, uh, that she would be the mother of Jesus, who is the Son of God. He should be called the Son of the Highest. How shall this be? The Holy Spirit shall overshadow thee. So the, those three elements come together uh, frequently in scripture um, perhaps it, 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 there's actually a wonderful meaning to these words because they're not just just words at random they actually have a, a, a an important meaning and they are to do with god manifestation and i'll just read a, a short passage from eureka this is uh, dr thomas's exposition of the apocalypse um, and this is from volume one of Eureka. This is what he says. The name is a divine manifestation. The eternal increate manifested in Jesus by the Holy Spirit. That's why those three are brought together. This manifestation is expressed in the formula of the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Matthew 28. This is the name which is above every name and embraces everything attributable to the Father and the Son. To become an Eloah, that's obviously the Greek for mighty one, to become an Eloah, a believer of the right stamp, must be immersed into his name, into his name. He will then become in the name, and consequently in deity, the Father, and the Lord Jesus anointed. A multitude may be in this name contemporaneously. They in deity, and deity in them by faith and obedience. Thus the name, which comprehended only two in the beginning, Father and Son, becomes a great multitude, which no man can number. So there's a wonderful idea there, isn't there? That the, the baptism is into a name, uh, but it's a name which initially just has these two elements, the Father and the Son, but which can ult ultimately have a multitude of elements and uh, uh, the prospect of the person who is baptised into this name is to become one with this wonderful uh, manifestation of, of God. I think that's really a very helpful way of understanding why those words are used. So some people, when they uh, do baptisms, they say you're baptised uh, into the name of the Father, manifest in the Son through the Holy Spirit. We also usually add for the remission of your sins, and we might wonder why that is. Well, there are a number of other formulas uh, for formulae for um, baptism in the scripture. So that's not a unique formula. For example, there's one in, um, in uh, Acts chapter 2, which is helpful because it brings in that element of remission of sins. 
So this is Acts chapter 2, verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. So there's baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, or into, because it's, it's the Greek word ice, which means into. It's not just in, it's into. For the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So there, um, there is the mention of the remission um, of sins, and, that, and that's how we normally use that, this formula. There are a number of other formulas which we could could speak of. Um, for example, as Acts 8, as yet it was fallen upon none of them, only they were baptised in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, as Acts 10, he commanded them to be baptised in the name of the Lord. Uh, as Acts 19, when they heard this, they were baptised in the name of the Lord Jesus. As Romans 6, so many of us were baptised into Jesus Christ. In Galatians 3, many of us, of you as have been baptized into Christ. So these all these formula would be a valid way of describing what actually happens at, at baptism. Perhaps just um, uh, mention a, a recent discussion that the ABs have had in order to try and pull the pull the words be, be more accurate in our words. And in fact, we used them in the the, the recent baptism um, of uh, of uh, Amin and Mary. Um, so, first of all, it's, it's better to say you are baptised into rather than I baptise you, because it, it, it transfers the emphasis onto the person baptised. So it's passive rather than the person doing the baptism. And then it's into the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you say in the name, uh, I know that coincides with the, with the AV <coughs> version of Matthew 28, but it conveys the, the impression that you're doing it in the name of some, somebody, which you're not, that the baptism is into the name of the Father, manifesting the Son, and, and the, through the power of the Holy Spirit for the remission of sins. 